Hello everyone, it's Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and today is all about the AMD Radeon 7000 series. So AMD, um, it's a big day for them, they're releasing two cards, the 7750 and the 7770. Obviously we've seen the 7950 and the 7970, which are your sort of extreme cards. These are more sort of budget to mainstream um, market cards. So today is a very big day for not just AMD, but obviously their partners as well. And depending on where you come from in the country, uh, in the world, um, will depend on you know what brand is sort of specific to you. So in the UK, in England, where I live, it's normally about sort of Asus, Sapphire, XFX. Um, but when we move over to places like Germany and sort of you know the rest of Europe, Club 3D are very big there, Power Color, and then America completely different again, XFX sort of. Uh, seem to rule um, there to a certain degree. So we're going to talk about Sapphire today because they're um, one of the biggest brands uh, that we actually work with in terms of uh, AMD Radeon GPUs. Now what Sapphire do a little bit differently to everyone else is they don't really believe in releasing reference cards. Instead they'd rather sort of tweak things and make it a little bit unique. So what you normally find with a graphics card is AMD will release a reference version then um, the partners will be allowed to tweak it. Some just rebadge it and put a sticker on it, whereas Sapphire they do things completely differently. So we've got things like the Flex Edition cards, the Toxic, um, VaporX and many other different sort of unique designs, Overclock Editions and that's exactly what we're looking at today. So the AMD Radeon 7770 has been released today and Sapphire have taken it that little bit further. So what the 777, the 7770, still can't get my head around that and uh, it just doesn't sound right in my mind but what they've essentially done today is released the world's first 1 gigahertz graphics card and not being content with that Sapphire have decided to push it even further so today we're going to be looking at the Sapphire HD 7770 and as you can see it is an overclock edition so what Sapphire have actually done is they've taken the core clock speed of 1 gigahertz and upped it to 1125 megahertz so 1.125 gigahertz however you want to say it and what they've essentially done is made the, the world's fastest at the moment, I believe, um, 7770. So fantastic news for Sapphire. It gives them sort of you know a few brownie points to say that they have released this graphics card. It is pre-overclocked. Um, they haven't just sort of you know carried on with the fold and, and said yeah we're just going to release a one gigahertz graphics card. They've actually done things a little bit differently. And I've had a sort of sneak peek at this card already whilst we've been. Uh, sort of just before setting up for filming and I've got to be honest it's got a subtle design to the cooler but it is probably one of the best looking cards I've ever seen uh, I don't know what it is about it but it just looks absolutely fantastic but you'll be able to see that in a couple of minutes once we unbox it <coughs> and actually have a look at the card and then we get straight into the benchmarks and show you exactly how it fared against not only the reference 7770 so you can see how that extra little bit of an overclock got but also against other older generation cards as well <clears throat> and what we'll also be doing with the 7770 um, from Sapphire as well as uh, another one um, from AMD, the reference one, is we will be cross-firing them at some point. So watch out for that because that will be on eTechnics.com um, and possibly may even do a video for it uh, directly here if you're watching this on YouTube. So for now, I'm going to quit rambling on and uh, show you the Sapphire Radeon HD 7770 GHz edition, overclocked edition with a core clock speed of 11.25 MHz. Stay tuned. So let's start off by looking at the box. So straight away, this is the same sort of theme and styling that Sapphire have been using for the 7000 series, including the 7950 and so forth, with this sort of army feel on it. We can tell straight away that it's the Sapphire HD 7770 gigahertz edition, and it's also an overclock edition. Uh, it comes with one gigabyte of GDDR5 memory, and we can also see that it comes bundled as normal with Sapphire with a 1.8 meter HDMI high-speed extension cable. And then just down in the bottom left are some of the main features of the HD 7770. So turning the box around, we can see there's nothing really on the sides. But on the back, very simple once again, with Sapphire um, listing a bit of a blurb about the 7770, what comes included in the box, and some of the main awards that uh, Sapphire have won as a company over uh, the past couple of years, since 2002. On the right, we can see that it has got some of the main features listed, including the 28 nanometer technology, GDDR5 memory, and some of the AMD features that have been invested into it, including iFinity 2.0, Crossfire X, and PCIe Express version 3.0. It's also got AMD HD 3D technology and, of course, DirectX 11. So, without sort of rambling on too much, let's uh, get straight into the box and see what we've got inside. 
as normal with uh, Sapphire, they do just include a, a normal, simple sort of brown box. So taking the outer packaging off and taking a look inside. Always fun to do with uh, only one hand, but uh, we will get into it. So I'm just actually going to put the camcorder down for uh, two seconds whilst we open this up. So now that we've got this uh, open, we can see exactly what comes in included inside. So we get a quick installation guide. A uh, leaflet for Sapphire product registration and this tells you how to register in many different languages um, using Sapphire Select Club membership. Also inside we get the uh, HDMI 1.8 meter HDMI cable, a display port, mini display port to display port adapter, a crossfire bridge because you can crossfire the 7 HD7770 a uh, Molex to 6 pin PCI Express adapter and there's only one of them which tells us straight away that it should only have one port on the card itself and then a VGA DVI adapter so other than that inside we get the graphics card in a uh, padded anti-static bag so uh, let's get this out and we can have a look at exactly what the card is all about it's good that it comes in a padded bag because uh, that just adds extra protection whilst it's being shipped to you uh, because you don't really want a uh, you know, graphics card being delivered to you with damage or anything like that on it. So this is the Sapphire HD7770 which straight away it, it actually is one of the best looking cards I've ever seen. Um, it's very subtle, very simple and sort of direct and to the point. So looking at the cooler first and foremost we can see that it's got this uh, plastic sort of uh, casing over the top of the card and it does go from one end to the other and encompasses over the whole card itself. There's a very large fan in the middle with Sapphire branding on it and some more branding up here, Sapphire HD7770. The AMD Radeon graphics logo is just down there and we can see that it's all on a blue uh, PCB. So turning the card over, we can see more of the blue PCB and exactly where the GPU core is located with these uh, screw mounting points to hold the uh, cooler on. If we have a look in a little bit more detail at the cooler itself we can see that there's a base plate down there making contact with a GPU and two heat pipes coming out this end. Turning it up this way we can see the very end of them two heat pipes where the fan connects in and some more sapphire branding up here. Now we did say about power wise there should only be one PCI Express power connector and there is. There's one six pin PCI Express power connector just here. And we can see that the overall layout of the board, if we sort of look underneath the uh, aluminium cooler with the heat pipes, we can see that it's, there's quite a lot of sort of space in there. Um, very, very simple layout underneath, which obviously gives fantastic ventilation um, for the actual graphics card itself. Looking beneath the fan, we get a first sort of glimpse of the uh, aluminium heat, heat sink design and the two heat pipes just sort of protruding out the bottom. Also looking along the top we can see that there's one crossfire adapter and we can see where this bridge would actually go onto there. So we will be doing some uh, crossfire with uh, a couple of the HD 7770s that we've got so that's uh, definitely something to uh, keep an eye on. Then finally taking a look at the back of the card <coughs> we can see that it takes up two slots in your chassis, uh, two expansion slots and the first one is really encompassing just uh, ventilation ports to give the best possible cooling out the back of the case. Now connector wise we can see that we've got a dual link DVI connector here, HDMI and two mini display ports. Now this particular card does accept up to six different displays, now that's entirely up to you how you do it. You may be using the mini display ports um, to do sort of daisy chaining if you've got display port 1.2 monitors or you may be getting a display port hub, it's entirely up to you. But that's a, a general sort of overview on the Sapphire HD7770 uh, OC edition. What we're going to do now is get that straight into the system, start benchmarking it and see uh, what sort of results we get with it. So stay tuned. <laughs> 